Hello and welcome. This is Mel Skinner, and we're back with some more The Pillars of the Earth. In the last video, I made a deal with the Hamleys, and although they are not very good people, it was a choice between fully supporting them or fully supporting the bishop, and considering that they're both potentially not very good people, with this deal, we'll gain a little bit of power for ourselves, and that power will hopefully give us the opportunity to shield those that the Hamleys may attempt to harm, and maybe it will give us a means to combat these two sides, although we, by doing this, will more than likely make an enemy of the bishop, so we'll have to be prepared for that. All right, let's go talk to the jailer and get this part. Good day. You come to visit someone in my jail, father, or do you want to pick out a nice warm cell for yourself? How dare you? Oh, I'm just pulling your leg. See? A smile. Just for you, father. Okay, we're gonna do this one. Bishop Henry sends me. The bishop, eh? What does he want? He wants me to talk to Bartholomew of Shiring. Bartholomew of Shiring. Ah. It's only Bartholomew now. All right. This is fourth day without bread. Soon he won't even be Bartholomew anymore. I don't know if we're going to try and get a confession out of him or not, but I would like to talk to him. Bartholomew. I am Brother Philip. Okay. Well, you know, to be honest with you, let's tell him the truth. We have never met, but I am responsible for your fate. No one ever chose my fate for me. I choose my fate. Hmm. Why did you go against the king? Why? Did you go against the king? Stephen sent you. Why would you side with the usurper? I was asked to make you confess. I was asked to make you confess. <laughs> Stronger men tried that before you. Why should I confess to you? Hmm. Both of these are probably good ways to go, but people found refuge in my priory. Your people found refuge in my priory. Your confession will help me to give them work and shelter. I have no sins to confess. My only regret is that I failed. I will not tell the king that. They will kill you. They have already done that. Monk, tell them that I confessed. To what? All of it. Treason. But... The son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father. Tell Stephen that as well. You know the scripture. Richard and Aliena, my children, they must live. Okay, so if I can do that much, I will. That's my goal, is to make sure that they survive and stay clear of the Hamleys, <laughs> who seem to only want to do them harm. And a good day to you too, father. All right. Looks like they've disappeared, as a matter of fact, so... Oh, no, they're over here. Hmm. Should we ask them about this? No, I don't... We'll, we'll continue. Uh, 
don't know if there's anything we can do here. Good, but I should let the bishops know when I leave. I would not want to upset them. Okay. To ask the nobles about this. Anyone know what Waylaren and Henry tried to do? I doubt anyone would even be surprised. What a fool I was. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, I never talked to these guys. Percy Hamley will have the Earldom of Shiring. But would he make a good Earl? Who cares? Stephen wanted the throne for 20 years. Now that he has it, he must be loyal to those who are loyal to him. Who knows? Maybe Percy will make a good Earl. From what I've heard, Lady Hamley pulls the string. Oh, that's true, pretty much. Should we talk to these guys or not? Okay. No, we're not going to provoke him. Bartholomew, Bartholomew confessed. He confessed to everything, but he asks for clemency for his children. Good. I will let my brother know what we have achieved today once he returns from the hunt. Good, Philip. You did well. Okay. About Bartholomew's children. About Bartholomew's children. My brother was never one to judge a man by the deeds of his father. Still, I shall mention Bartholomew's request to him. Okay. Um, I guess that's all we can do, so it's time to leave. We're not going to provoke the bishop. There's no point in doing that, so... Maybe I should come back tomorrow. Yes, there is not much a monk can do here. Yes, your bishop and I will do what we can to help your priory. More than likely going to make an enemy of him as is. My loyal subject, Percy Hamley, today becomes the Earl of Sharing. Of the former Earl's possessions, Percy shall have the castle. And all the land that is tenanted to knights, plus all other arable land and low-lying pasture. I swear by all that is holy to be your liegeman, and to fight for you against any other. M my king. Ah, yes. Of course, I have not forgotten the worries of my bishops. <clears throat> the Earl of Sharing himself, Percy here, solved this problem for me. Thanks to him, I can uphold my promise. Don't worry, Bishop Waleran. Kingsbridge shall be rebuilt. Percy told me of a man here whom my brother has not yet introduced. Come forward, Prior. My brother, may I present to you Philip of Gwynedd, my king. You seem afraid. What are you worried about? Worried about dirty robe. I'm worried because I don't have a clean robe to wear. Then stop worrying. I like a monk to look like a monk, not like a king. Now, about the arrangement between you and Percy Hamley. He insisted that I give the sheep grazings belonging to the former Earl to the Priory of Kingsbridge. The Priory will also have the right to take stone from the Earl's quarry and timber from his forest. I wholeheartedly agree with the plan you two have devised. It shall be done. Thank you. Thank you, my lord. It seems unnecessarily complicated to give the land to the bishop. Percy told me that you, Father Philip, share that sentiment. He told me it was your idea to take up the burden of managing the rebuilding of the cathedral yourself. I... wonderful. I'm glad that we all were able to help you, Bishop Waylaren, in this pressing matter. After all you have done for me. Thank you, Lord King. Bartholomew lost everything in his attempt to end my reign. 
This morning, he was found dead in his cell. I have heard that you, Pra, worry for his children, Richard and Aliena. While they shall lose their status, their name, and their land, they shall go free, wherever they are. You must be very proud, Lady Hamley. Of course. Father Philip has been very understanding in all this. Yes, he is remarkable. Very remarkable. Look at those daggers. My husband and I were terrified when we heard about the fire in Tunsbridge. It is a blessing that we can help him in his fiery manner. You sowed the wind, Philip. Very calm, very collected, but there were daggers in those eyes. All right. We uh, went to see him in his cell. We rode with William to the bishop's palace and uncovered Waylorin's secret. Waylorin's servant has become suspicious of you. Well, <laughs> the bishop, I think, is far gone, so I don't, I don't really care at this point. But I think that there's things we could have said that wouldn't have gotten that suspicion. I, the one thing that I said where I said the bishop was wrong, that is what tipped him off. Uh, again, it's it's too late now uh, because this, but we'll get on to that. You made a very lucrative pact with the Homleys. Good for us. And Bishop Whaleran believes you betrayed him, which we did, but he would have betrayed us, I think. So either way, it wouldn't have mattered. And either way, we would have gone. We would have had an enemy, I think. And uh, this way we win, as I say. If you're going to have possible enemies like this, if either one is a deal with the devil, give yourself a little bit of power to fight him back at the very least. And that's, I think, what we've managed. All right, let's go ahead and continue on to the next chapter here. Okay, a few weeks later. Is everyone ready? Yes, everyone will be there. But how are we to pray and contemplate like this? I don't dare even to send my choir out there. We shall get used to it, all of us. We must be thankful for all of this, for each noise, each face that disturbs us here. We shall start with the chancel, then gradually work our way from east to west. That's the way it's done, the way I was taught to do it. I value your enthusiasm, my dear Mason, but so far we're only cleaning up. I haven't even considered hiring a master builder yet. Neither you, nor anyone else. May I show you some drawings? By all means. I mean, they're right there. <laughs> okay, we've got the floor plan. Elevation. Okay, we'll start with the floor plan. But we'll just make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, good. When we walk around the site, we mark where the walls will be. The pillars, the doors, and buttresses. Now for that, we need a plan like this. Tell us where to place our pegs and string. Is this how birds would see our church? Exactly. Oh, okay, now we've got everything. All right, well, I don't, I'm not very familiar with the parts of a cathedral so I guess this is going to give me a lesson so we'll start with the nave the nave is on the left it has six bays and the chancel the chancel will have four bays hmm 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 I can see the transept is two bays wide so it will be 12 in total it does look splendid, but isn't that rather small? It would be smaller, but not less impressive. Can you afford to build it bigger? 
There we go. It would be smaller, but not less impressive. I guess a small cathedral would be closer to our means. It is still all so uncertain. The king grants us timber and stone and wool from Shiring's pastures. But only God knows if it will be enough. I don't suppose you have any idea how much this would cost. Okay. No more than 3,000 pounds, 3,000 pounds at least. Uh, I prefer a pessimistic view. It's a little bit more realistic. That way, if it's less than that, hey, they're like, yeah, it's less than that. You never know what might happen, but give or take, we'll need at least 3,000 pounds. I've spent the last few weeks working out the annual income of the Priory. Here's the answer. 300 pounds a year, and we spend every penny. Go on now, show me the rest of your drawing. Okay, we've gone over that. Let's go over the... Elevation. Imagine you're standing in the center of the nave, looking at the wall. This is what you see. Are those... windows? Right, but that's not all. Okay. Arcade. Oh, okay, there's a bunch of stuff here. All right, we'll start with the arcade. On the lowest level are the pillars of the arcade. They're joined by arches, making up the bays. Through the archways, you can see the windows in the aisle. Okay. Starting right in the middle is the Tribune Gallery. Shall I go on? Yes, yes, of course. I was just thinking. Keep going. Hey. Okay. On top are the clear story windows. I can see you've put a lot of thought into this. I was just wondering... How long would this take to build? You can take your time with that answer. Okay. Eight to ten years with 60 masons, 15 years with 30 masons. Well, we'll give him the, the lower number if he's willing to pay that. I think he can do the math otherwise. Well, that depends on how many people you employ. If you can afford 60 masons, you could build the whole church at once instead of working from east to west. That might take eight years, maybe ten. I wish my monastic officials had your ability to think ahead and calculate. So, I need to find 200 pounds a year. It doesn't sound so bad when you put it that way. You really want to build this cathedral yourself, don't you? Yes, Father. I want you to appoint me Master Builder. Why? Okay. Hmm. I, none of these really jump out at me. For him, this is his dream. So, this is true. But this is also true. This is probably also true. And this is probably also true, too. But we want to emphasize what will matter to the father here. So, I'm going to say fully exercise my skill or gives meaning to a man's life. Oof. I could see him having counters to everything we say here. <laughs> and that's why I, uh, I'm torn on this one. All right, well, we'll say this one. Because he wants to give people hope. Is that so? Then answer me this one last question. If people were to enter your church, what image would they see crowning the tympanum above the entrance? Oh, one no. Of judgment Day to teach people to be good? Or one of paradise to remind them of God's mercy? Show them hell so that they're afraid to do bad things. Hmm, I'd rather see trees and animals. 
I'm going to say this because I don't like the fire and brimstone approach. That seems to be the bishop's way of doing things. Let's be different. It should be the promise of a better life. Therefore, it will show heaven. Yes. Milius, is there news of my brother? No, uh, unfortunately not. No one has seen or heard from him since the bishop and Percy Hamley were here. Papa, will there be statues inside? Statues? Oh, that's enough, children. It's time you went out and played. Oh, we didn't go get to go over the entire floor plan. Or the, the other part, the drawing. Prior. Yes? My first wife, Agnes. She died without a priest, and she's buried in unconsecrated ground. Sometimes a man builds a chapel, or founds a monastery, in the hope that in the afterlife, God will remember his piety. I just wonder, do you think my design might serve to protect Agnes's soul? God no longer asks for blood sacrifices, for the ultimate sacrifice has already been made. But the lesson of Abraham's story is that God demands the best we have to offer, that which is most precious to us. So you must ask yourself, is this design the best thing you could offer? Except for my children. Yes. Then rest easy, Tom Builder. God will accept it. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and inspect this later, but I really like these parts of the story the most. The, the talk of the cathedral and building it is just very interesting to me. It's not something I know a lot about, so it's informative, but also just seeing the beauty of it is, is nice, too. But in any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mel Skinner, signing out.